The official word from NOAA and the Climate Prediction Center on the upcoming winter season, El Nino will have an impact. Now when we look at El Ninos and La Ninas, we break them down into three categories, weak, moderate, or strong. This El Nino episode is expected to be on the weaker side. So confidence is a little on the lower side. We got a 75% chance that a weak El Nino will develop late November into January, or excuse me, December, January, and February. So during that 90 day period, a little bit of drier than normal and warmer than normal weather and climate is expected across the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. And temperature wise, we got a 40 to 50% chance of seeing slightly warmer than normal temperatures. So this winter season not expected to be quite as harsh as last year. Last year was a La Nina. This year is an El Nino. So again, there's big differences between the two. So El Nino is the warming of sea surface temperatures out there in the equatorial Pacific. Typical cycles are every two to seven years. And it looks like this year is uh, an El Nino winter. So this will pull a lot of Pacific moisture down through the southern United States. They're expecting much wetter and cooler than normal weather. And in the northern Rockies and up into southern Canada, the polar jet stream is deflected more towards the north and east or lifting up and over the top of Montana. So this typically can bring a slightly warmer than normal and a slightly drier than normal weather pattern. And because it's a weak El Nino, there will be Arctic waves moving in. There will be some below zero temperatures. There will be some nasty winter storms and tricky travel. That's given on any winter season despite a La Nina or El Nino. But again, we are expecting during that 90 day period, when you look back at it, uh, there will be slightly warmer than normal and slightly drier than normal conditions across Montana and much of the western and northern United States. That's the latest from NOAA on the winter weather forecast.